Good afternoon. The first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is Mr. Farid Ahmad, National Secretary for External Affairs, National Executive of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community UK. Thank you, Presiding Officer, for the opportunity to speak today. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful, my contribution today stems from the words and guidance of His Holiness, Hazrat Mirza Masroor Ahmed, the Caliph and worldwide head of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. The world is passing through precarious times. There is a rise in division, hate and injustice. Society has become polarized. Nations have threatened one another. Conflicts have become widespread. And inequality has increased. The plight of people in the world's poorest nations is truly desperate, and their poverty heartbreaking. They wake up each day wondering if this will be their last. Hundreds of millions do not have access to clean drinking water. They make do and struggle and survive by using dirty pond water. The struggle for survival means that nearly a quarter of a billion children are deprived of education. Today, their hardship is compounded by modern technology through which they see the great disparity between them and the comfort of people living in developed countries. This feeds resentment that is preyed upon by extremists who entice them with money and the promise of a better life. Similarly, targeting illiterate youth gives extremists free reign to radicalize and brainwash them, taking advantage of the fact that the rulers of those countries have most often, more often than not, failed their people. Dear friends, these are not other people's problems as they directly affect global peace and security. Every effort must be made to raise the standards of the developing world. Poor nations must not be looked down upon. Rather, we should consider them as part of our family, our brothers and sisters. By helping developing nations stand on their own feet, and by giving their people opportunities and hope, we will actually be helping ourselves and safeguarding the future of the world. Perhaps this task falls more to people like you who have the luxury of freedom and opportunity. For the Holy Quran says in chapter 94, so when thou art free, strive hard. It guides mankind to achieve peace by freeing of a slave, the feeding in the day of hunger, an orphan near of kin, or a poor man lying in the dust. Those in power, like you, are uniquely positioned to help create a better world. The question is, will you? The founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, whom we accept as the promised Messiah, peace be upon him, guided and said that the principle to which we adhere is that we have kindness at heart for the whole of mankind. I put it to you that this, in truth, is a principle for us all. So let us begin each day with such compassion in our hearts to help those in need. And let us end each day knowing we have made a difference to end suffering end injustice and end inequality, so that we bequeath to our future generations, wherever they may be, a world of peace rather than a world at war. Thank you.